wish that there was. <laughs> Do you realize that very litter you just threw on the ground could end up in our storm drains, which leads to our local creeks and streams, which could potentially end up in the Cape Fear River, where we, the city of Fayetteville, draw our drinking water? I never really thought about it. In fact, there are many ways that our streams can become polluted. Rainwater that falls on our streets, rooftops, and other hard surfaces flows directly into our storm drains, and along the way, it picks up trash, grease, and chemicals, which all end up in our waterways. This is called stormwater pollution. Well, doesn't that water go to a treatment plant to be cleaned? No, actually there are two water collection systems beneath the ground. The water that leaves your house when you brush your teeth, take a shower, or flush the toilet goes into the sanitary sewer system, which is treated before it returns to the river. This water is called wastewater. All the water that enters our drains, such as rainwater or runoff from washing our cars or watering our lawns, well, that's called stormwater. And it flows directly to our local waterways without any treatment. So what are some other ways our stormwater becomes polluted? When it rains, motor oils and other automotive fluids can be washed into our storm drain, causing harmful toxins to be released into our streams. This can contaminate our drinking water and be destructive to wildlife and other habitats. When someone rakes or blows leaves into the street, those leaves could potentially be washed into the storm drains when it rains. As leaves break down and decompose, it can be harmful to fish because it robs them of oxygen they need to survive. Debris such as leaves or trash can also block the storm drains, which can lead to flooding and cause damage to not only our streets and homes, but our environment as well. Could you think of something else that might pollute our waters? Oh, I know. What about when people fertilize their lawns? That's right. Pesticides and fertilizers from lawns, golf courses, and farmland can also release their harmful toxins into the water. All of these pollutants will eventually wind up in the Cape Fear River, where the city of Fayetteville draws the bulk of their drinking water. Wow, I had no idea that all that stuff could end up in our drinking water. What can we do to help? I'm glad you asked. You should always be aware of what you can do put trash in its proper place. Probably dispose of motor oils and other fluids by recycling and take into the household hazardous waste facilities. Be careful when applying pesticides and fertilizers. Never apply before a rainstorm and always follow package instructions. Reduce, reuse, and recycle as often as possible. And clean up after your pets. Be responsible. And don't put anything in the storm drain you wouldn't want to drink. And remember, only rain in the storm drain. The City of Fayetteville Stormwater Division works hard to help prevent stormwater pollution by monitoring our streams for contaminants, investigating reports of illegal dumping, and by bringing awareness to our citizens through educational presentations, various publications, and participation in local events. Our city takes pride in keeping our waterways free and clear of pollution through various city maintenance activities and active volunteer organizations that care about the environment. If you would like more information about stormwater or to report stormwater pollution, please call the Stormwater Hotline at 433-1613.